Hello and welcome to Pan African News 360 on GUN. This is News in 5, and I am Vuyo Mguelo. These are your headlines. Bowenia unveils the medium term budget policy and tributes pour in for the late great US comedian. Dozens of foreign nationals clash with police in Cape Town iPhone users warned to update devices and time runs out for ultra-marathon entries in record time. The Finance Minister Tito Mboweni announced in his medium-term budget policy statement that controversial e-toll system will not be scrapped by any time soon as government continues making tough choices for the renewal and growth of the economy. Mboweni made this revelation on Wednesday, stating that after looking at several options to resolve the in-phase over the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project, government could not afford to do away with the user pay principle. Now, while there will be a further dispensation and value-added service, compliance will also be strengthened. But when he called on South Africans to get rid of the notion of known payment use services as a way to tackle microeconomic conditions which have led to a weaker economic outlook. Now, the minister also revealed no plans to restructure ESCOM's plans. It is meet a certain operational requirements. On the other state enterprises, Mboweni said government will be reviewing its framework for state-owned enterprise support. In the fight against poverty and inequality, the minister said government has set aside a 567 billion rands for social grant payments, which has now increased and added that excesses our duties will also increase. Now, messages of condolences and tributes have continued to pour in for late comedian and actor John Witherspoon, who died on Tuesday at his home at age 77, his family revealed on Wednesday. The Witherspoon family confirmed his death in a statement released on Wednesday that the former Bundock's voiceover Friday, last Friday actor, died in his California home. Witherspoon, who broke into the comedy scene in the 60s and 70s, had become a global icon in the TV and movie industry. I am sad, broken, hurt, yet extremely grateful to God that I got to spend five years of my life working with one of the funniest, sweetest, wisest, humblest, loving man, a U.S. actor Marlon Wayness said. I'm devastated over the passing of John Witherspoon. Life won't be as funny without him, said former Friday star and rapper Ice Cube. Now, many others flooded social media with heartfelt messages of condolences and RIP to him and may his life Loved, loved one find peace and comfort during this time of need. And dozens of foreign nationals were arrested on Wednesday afternoon during a sit-in in Cape Town that took a left turn after the refugees and migrants turned on the police. According to reports, the foreign nationals who were housed at the Cape Town United Nations High Commission had staged an extended seat at the agency demanding help from the commission regarding repatriation. A riot police and city of Cape Town law enforcement were called in to dispense the crowd after they had refused to leave after camping outside the commission's agency offices. According to an EWN reporter, some of the foreigners who hailed all the way from Pakistan, Somalia, DRC and Burundi could be seen carried out in police vans. Now, dozens of foreign nationals that were evicted from this subsequent clash took refuge at the central Methodist chest in the city. An iPhone Generation 5 model users have been warned to update their software or risk losing their key data by Sunday. A screen of warnings began appearing on iPhone 5 device this week, warning that it will require an iOS 5 update to maintain accurate GPS location and continue to use the functions. Apple says if users do not heed the warning, GPS glitch will affect key features such as App Store, iCloud, email and wire browsing. Users will need to update before Sunday to avoid this. Now in sports, the Comrades Marathon Association has closed South Africa's entries for 2020 Ultra Marathon after reaching a South Africa's cap of 25,000 just three hours after they had opened. At one point on Tuesday, the entry website was doing 36 entries a second, a race director Ryan James said. We have seen an unprecedented demand for entry into the Comrades Marathon, said James. Now the 
95th edition of the 90 kilometer race will take place on June 14th in 2020 from Peter Maritzberg at 5 o'clock. Now for more of these news go to our website and also communicate with us in all our social media platforms from myself and the News in 5 team. We'll see you guys tomorrow.